Well, hey there, everyone. I'm back with another weekly bullet journal setup, and I'm sure you probably thought I was dead because I just went MIA for a complete week. I mean, I tell you, it was a trying week, so we'll just I don't we'll just keep forging on. What what else can we do? Did you think I got committed? That would have been a, like a good guess. I mean, I wouldn't have blamed you for thinking that. But no, not this week. Not this week. Um, this is washi tape that I got from Michael's in anticipation of starting that new um, Flow. Well, it wasn't. It's not Flow magazine. The Breathe magazine um, that I'm going to turn into like an art journal, junk journal. So uh, this was washi tape from that little haul. And I think it's really pretty. It's like colors that I don't have. So... It's kind of like um, <clears throat> browns and greens and yellows. Sounds ugly. Maybe sort of like something that would come out of your nose when you had a cold. But I mean, and maybe from far back it does look like that. No, no, no. Let's not go down that train of thought. It's pretty. It does not look like snot. Okay. Anyway. Um, so I'm just lining my pages like I tend to do. Check out my Instagram for the view of last week, the completed mild liner setup. I did like how it ended up turning out, so that's cool. That one kind of like uh, leafy flowery washi tape did not stick very well, so I was kind of reinforcing it with that glue stick you see there. So, um... We'll see if that holds. Sometimes, I don't know, I feel like we've talked about this before. Washi, some people say they have problems with their washi sticking down. I really haven't, but this one kind of kept popping up. So maybe it's a stubborn one. I've been reading uh, The Fiery Cross, which is what? The sixth book in the Outlander series? I can't remember if it's fifth or sixth. Um, and so... But now I have like the the Scottish brogue like in my head like I <laughs> I want to keep saying like Marie Laddie like things like that <laughs> I don't I don't know you guys I am not Scottish it's ridiculous <laughs> so I have to stop myself from saying these weird phrases that were only common in the 1700s in Scotland <laughs> so anyway. Um, where was I going with this? I have no idea. Uh, now I'm writing the date. That, uh, marker that I just used was one of the, uh, Bria Reese, uh, dual tip markers. I like it because the colors of those markers are, like, a little bit more, I don't know, they're not so, like, jewel tony. Because these colors, as you can see, are more snot-like and not as bright and, and cheerful. So I needed something to coordinate with the um, snot hue. Stop saying snot, Emily. Oh my god. <sighs> Going back with the same dual tip marker. Are, do you wish I would have stayed away? I bet you wish I would have stayed away now, huh? I couldn't do that. So I put a piece of paper under and I'm just, I don't know, drawing a line. And then I'm going to my uh, daily spreads and using the same like floral washi. It's kind of vintagey looking. Can I say vintage? I feel like I throw the word vintage around willy nilly, higgledy piggledy, hither and yon. <clears throat> anyway. Um, I liked the way that black kind of complemented, just like a regular black pen, complemented these colors. I don't know why. Doing another sort of weird style of lettering. It's kind of, well, I don't know. It's where you just make extra room in your letters, make them wider than you typically would, and then make a big, like, fat rectangle on the down sweep part Ugh, word salad word salad it's like I had a traumatic brain injury 
I didn't. And that's not even, like, a joke. That's, that's serious. So, I'm sorry if you have suffered from that. Um, Thursday. I do like how this ends up turning out. Oh, you guys, I was going to tell you. Oh, my goodness. So, in this intervening time that I've been missing, uh, my husband decided to buy a... Um, an Amazon, what are they called? I don't know, it's that bitch Alexa. And now, she's she's pretty much taken over my spot in the family. She can play a game with you. She can tell you what time it is. She can tell you what the traffic is like on the way to High V. She can tell you if it's going to rain today. And she can tell you how to bake tilapia. I'm telling you, I think that Alexa... I don't know. She's... She's something else. Bitch trying to steal my family. Okay. <clears throat> that same green marker. I bet for people that have, like, issues with OCD, that Monday where I forgot to color in that, uh, the last part of the N, is that really bothering you right now? I bet you didn't even notice it, but now it's bothering you, didn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Well, sorry. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to put in some motivational words for this week. Words. I think my word of the week, you know how I do those from time to time. Well, I have every day this month, or every week this month. We started out with nourish, and then we went to embrace the second week in July. This past week was, um, what was it you guys? I'm drawing a huge blank. Embrace? No, I just said embrace. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't remember. But anyways, I think that this one is going to be maybe flourish um, or prosper or Oh, I can't remember of the ones that I liked. I think maybe it was Flourish. I can't remember. I'm shit at this. How do you guys still watch these videos? <laughs> okay, so my quote this week I really do like. I found from Pinterest. It says, normality is a paved road. It's easy to walk, but nothing grows there. So, just chew on that little seed for a while. I really do like it. <clears throat> Around here in my family, we appreciate uh, weirdness. We claim it loudly and boldly, so much so that the other day we were in the car, and as my children are wont to do, they were driving me batshit crazy, and... <laughs> I, I think I said to Henry, like, can you just be normal for a couple minutes? Just be like a normal eight-year-old and quit bugging me right now, okay? And, I, you know, in retrospect, probably not a nice thing to say, but he was doing something completely weird and off the wall. And, you know, I, it sounds like I'm really messing him up. I'm not. It's... Anyway. So he said, Ugh, did you just call me normal? Did you just call me normal? I thought you said I was weird. I was like, oh, baby, you are weird. Don't worry, you're not normal. Just, just calm down. I didn't mean anything by it. Like, he completely misconstrued what I was saying. But the fact that he was hurt by thinking that I called him normal was really sweet. <laughs> and if you knew Henry, you would really realize that. <laughs> that just fits so well. He loves being weird. He's just a weird, funky kid. And I love that about him. So this, uh, that quote really struck a note with me. Um, maybe because of that, I don't know. And just because of the general splendor of my weird family. Um, and then my second quote, I decided to do a quote on my daily spreads too, because Mama is needing some inspiration these days, and I fucking hate women who call themselves mama in, like, the first person, so never mind that I did that. Um, no one is you. That's your superpower. Yes. Hell yeah. So just remember that when you feel like an utter 
complete failure, that no one in the world is you. And there's a lot of people that like you, even if you don't think so. So when you're struggling, just remember that no one is you, but you. Words of wisdom for today <clears throat> that you didn't even ask for, but you got anyway. I don't even feel bad anymore. You guys know what you sign up for when you click on these videos. It's just nonsense. Utter nonsense. Um, I think, you know, I'm thickening up the gel strokes, you know, as I tend to do. And then I kind of added a little drop shadow on some of those letters with that green marker, which is kind of reverse of how I usually do it. You can't see very well because I didn't uh, zoom in while I was doing this, like... A good youtuber might have done but I am not that I think we can both agree and then I am outlining it in a gold colored mild liner that highlights one of the shades in my snot washi so I hope you guys had a wonderful week I hope you have a wonderful week coming up this week and I promise I will be back and we will um, be besties again and you can see the general debauchery, and it will make you feel better about, you know, whatever you got going on. Have a good one, guys.